I don't know if y'all listen quiet enough, you can hear the water. All you hear is water just splashing against the the shore. If y'all want to call this a shore. Well, I'm out here in the lake, man. I'm about to make this video. You know what I'm saying? It's probably a month too late, but it's only right. You know what I'm saying? I was going to make a um, video telling y'all what I had going on, what's going on in my life, what's the next um, step in my life and everything. And one thing I wanted to do, I wanted to come by some water because, like I say, every time I make a video about water, water make you reflect on life because water ain't nothing but a big old mirror. It ain't like I'm staring, looking at myself, but it's a mirror of life. You know what I'm saying? Everything needs water. We need water to live. Animals need water. Plants, trees need water. You know what I'm saying? Water goes into the sky and falls back down. It's a, um, it's water in the ocean. It's water everywhere in our bodies and everywhere. It just makes me reflect, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know why that is. I don't know if I'm a water sign, but I am a Scorpio that's born in October. Um... I might be an air so I don't know what it is, but I used to work on a boat. And um, after I'm done working, I used to sit out there on the boat and just stare at the water. No matter how big or small wa the water it is, but it give you time to think. It's quiet. It give you time to reflect on life. But I wanted to get deep with y'all because... I'm doing this YouTube stuff and the channel growing and um and y'all the reason y'all really besides my kids bro besides my kids y'all the ones that keep me going and I'm talking about the people who actually subscribe I know if y'all just clicking this uh channel just see what's going on y'all can hear what's going on and see but I'm talking about the people who actually subscribe who fuck with me you know what I'm saying Y'all keep me motivated. So, today, it's, it's December 2022, you know what I mean? We about to go into next month. In a few more weeks, we'll be in a whole new year. And it's a cliche thing to say, new year, new me, but... I honestly believe I hit a level in my life to where it's I have nothing but time to make a new me. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want it to be a new me just for the next year. I want I want it to be a new me forever. You dig? So let me give y'all a little history of me, man. So Y'all know my channel, Lil Trent Music. I used to go by Lil Trent, RT Blue. I used to do music myself, you know what I mean? And um, I was on the H Town scene. Oh, look at the little turtle popping his head out. Y'all see that little circle right there? That little turtle with his head out. I don't know if that one over there is a turtle. Oh, that's. All right, to make a long sh uh, story short, around. 20, well, 2009 is when I got out the military. I was doing I was doing music before I joined the military. I did music while in the military, and I was planning on pursuing it after the military. But um, things happened in my life. I moved away, and I was in a I was in a serious relationship. Matter of fact, I was married at the time. Yes, I was married before, and. The best thing and the worst thing happened to me, it was in 2012. I, I always remember this. It, was, it, was, it happened a little bit before my birthday. My birthday is in October. So October 2012 was the day my ex-wife decided to leave me. You know what I'm saying? Her reasons of leaving me definitely justified. I don't want to talk about the past, but she left for a good reason. Damn, there's a train coming. 
I don't know if y'all can see Wade with them lights. If that train come and stop this blockage, I'm gonna be stuck here for a minute anyway. But anywho, yeah, so she left me for good reasons. But when she left me, I became very depressed, which a lot of dudes do. It's, it's, that's kind of natural. When somebody leave you either, you go through all the emotions. You go through anger, you go through grief, you go through sadness, happy, you know what I'm saying? Blame, whatever. So I was very depressed. 2013 was probably one of the worst years of my life. So this after she was gone, um, I contemplated suicide a few times. This is a trigger warning. Everybody know how, um, excuse that train. I'm about, I'm gonna try to talk loud because that train gonna probably drown me out. But, so I was very suicidal. Like I used to go try to find bottles, bodies of water just to, I used to be like, fuck it, bro. I can, uh, and this before I had my daughters. So everything in my life, I felt like was going wrong. I felt like life would be better without me there. And I just wanted to find a body of water like this or anywhere where I could, and I don't know how to swim. So either like that, I tried to take pills, you know what I'm saying? The thing about contemplating suicide, it's like you really do want to die, but you don't want to hurt. You don't want to feel the pain. You just want the shit to go away. Like, you'll take, look at the train. You'll take pills. Some people, I mean, I'm not telling you how to do it. Or, people who know about having suicide thoughts know about all the ways they thought about it. But something just made me not do it. And it wasn't a religious reason. Because I don't even, I don't fault the people who have done it because it's just, when you do it, it's like you get to a point where you can't take life anymore. You're done with life. And me, I know that it's more life than what we see on this earth. I don't know what beliefs everybody else believe in, but I believe in the universe. I believe this life going to keep on going after we here. After Earth gone, we can get, we can talk about that on another day, but I know there's another dimension that everybody go to after life, so after this life on Earth, you go to another life, life continues going on. So, I don't know if I want to wait till this train in, but I waited for the train to go by so I don't have to keep screaming. But anywho, let's take y'all back. So October 2012 was the end of my marriage. You get what I'm saying? Where she left in 2013 was my depressed most depressed year you know what i'm saying and life is ups and downs it's roller coaster yeah we had sad moments but 2013 for me was very depressed but i survived i didn't kill myself i didn't commit suicide i end up thugging it out 2014 stuff was more stuff was happening but I seen a little light, you know what I mean? So, basically, before I tell y'all my whole life story, so October 22, October 2022 became the 10th year, it been 10 years since my ex-wife left me, right? And 2013, I mean, 2023 will be 10 years from my depressed 
10 year anniversary for my depression year. So the reason why I'm out here right now is because you know, I say things in life go in circles and everything and things happen over and over again. So I'm basically going through the same situation, but I'm not married. But it feel it feel the same. I feel that same pain. You get what I'm saying? Like anybody who been watching me lately, they know. Um, I I had another channel called Trina Angie with my girlfriend, which is an ex girlfriend now. But you know what I'm saying? We was together about three four years. You know what I'm saying? We was damn near best friends. We was everything, and you know what I'm saying. And I don't know if it's the Scorpio in me, because sometimes I be want to feel like the future type of Scorpio, like, fuck everybody, and you know what I'm saying? When I, that means, like, just don't give a fuck. Or the Drake type of Scorpio, where I just, I care, and I can show you I care, show you my feeling side. And then you got the Omarion type, where he's unbothered. But who knows? But anywho... I'm I'm right now I'm in a depressed stage and y'all can't see it because I'm not gonna lie I do go to the club just to to fight my depression that ain't the reason why I smoke or drink I do that occasionally anyway but the club I really that shit is really depressing I really don't do the club scene I hate the club scene you know what I'm saying honestly I'd rather be with my woman I'm the type of nigga I'd rather be booed up even if it's like even if we have our own space, like it ain't nothing like coming home to your woman. I could I could kick with my homeboys. I could kick it, you know what I'm saying, by myself sometimes. I can kick it with my bike crew, you know what I'm saying. But ain't nothing like coming home to your woman. That's what I I rather do. So this whole year been off and on to where like we done, but if we been still in contact and all that type of stuff, so it really been depressed. Like when I'm not around her. I'm depressed. When I am around her, I'm happy. You get what I'm saying? And I just don't want to go into next year real depressed and get them suicidal thoughts because anybody who had them once, it's not like they never have them again. Even if you're a survivor of a suicidal thought or a suicidal attempt, you always battling. It's just like um, they say addiction, like when somebody addicted to drugs or alcohol or gambling, whatever it is, they going to always technically be addicted to that. But every day is a different struggle. You fight this like one day at a time. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to take it one day at a time. So a lot of videos I, I, I probably be doing is YouTube stuff. I supposed to be more consistent than what I am. And I've been dropping the ball. I haven't been focusing on creating good content for y'all. I haven't been... I haven't been even taking care of myself. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm really sad about. I haven't been able to take care of myself as far as, like, making sure my health is right, making sure I'm eating, getting enough sleep, making sure I'm, making sure I'm still working out. You know what I'm saying? Because depression will have you laid up in the bed all day. Yeah, I do my hustle, do my work and everything. And then when I got time, I will make uh, some YouTube videos for y'all. But it's not fun how a normal person would feel or how people think it is. And a lot of people look at me, bro, and they think I'm just all fun and turn up and I'm just cool. But people don't understand the battles people have inside, like, Parts of me do feel suicidal. Like, parts of me do feel like, because I got kids now, my kids keep me motivated. They make me want to continue. But, but, um, y'all also make me want to continue. When I hear, when I, I read every comment, like, I don't, I, I try to comment to every comment. I'm not big, big time, like, so many people with a million subscribers and everything. I hope to get there one day with the help of y'all. But while I'm a normal person like everybody else, I'm going to come in on every 
comment that y'all drop, even if it's a, a 100 or a, a okay sign or something, I'm gonna always respond. But the the comments I love the most, the ones I love seeing is the ones like, man, I appreciate, I like your vibe. I subscribe to your channel. Keep up the good work. Shit like that that make you like, damn, you subscribe to my channel because you like the way I react to music. So, 10 years later from 2012, uh, I'm doing music reactions instead of doing music myself. That's my passion. Music is my passion. I am always want to listen to music, be around music, hear music. But, and I feel like I have a future, but right now it's like it's so, I'm, I'm so misguided. I don't know what to do. I don't have really no one to talk to. I'm talking to y'all, obviously. I don't have no one else to talk to. You could talk to your friends, like homeboys and shit, but they be going through their own shit, too. A lot of people be going through their own shit and don't be want to... You can't put your problems on other people sometimes. And then a lot of dudes don't want... A lot of dudes don't want to hear what you got going through. I ain't going to tell you the real shit. Even if they do tell you the real shit, it's always... Oh, with, go try to get her back and make. I'm I'm at the point where I don't wanna I don't wanna have a, a I don't wanna rely on a woman or somebody else for me to feel happy inside. I wanna be happy myself. You get what I'm saying? I wanna be happy with me. I don't want no new relationship. I don't want, and that's my problem because I feel like I'm such a lover boy. I'm such a Scorpio that anytime I get involved with a woman. And the shit ends or go down, it, 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 it takes a whole bunch of life out of me. You know what I mean? And, and the sad part about it, I'm a father, but my kids don't even live with me. They, they live with their mom, so it's like, when I'm not with them, when I'm with them, I see they bring me life too. When I'm with them, they bring me life. But when I'm not with them, and I'm by myself in my own thoughts like I am right now. If I was suicidal, I would jump in this bitch. I wouldn't give a fuck. But I'm I'm just trying to be strong. It's probably because I'm older now. But I don't know. I, I really, I really don't know. Like, my ex told me um, I was a narcissist and the one who just recently broke up. And you know what's up? I can't even deny. I probably, I'm probably am. Sometimes the first step to uh, recovery is admitting what you are. And if if she say I'm a narcissist, I'm. A lot of people using that word so frequently, so often this year. You don't know if it's true or not. But when I looked up the definitions, a lot of that shit do relate to me. And you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm just a dude that I, I do want to change for the better, bro. Like this shit here, like. At the end of the day, everybody just want to be happy, bro. Everybody just want to be happy, dog. No matter what makes you happy, everybody want to be happy. Like, that what makes the world a better place, a beautiful place when everybody... But everybody not happy, bro. It's, it's sick motherfuckers. And, like, this year alone, I'm seeing people, like, couples kill each other, people killing kids... This the craziest year for us news, like stories, people, like all the stuff we seen in the news is crazy. And I don't want to, one, one thing about it, I don't want to become that person. I don't want to become that person and be like, well, life ain't going right for me. I'm going to take it out on other people. No, I don't want to be that person. I want to fix myself. I just, I'm just letting y'all know that. I'm going to try my best to be better, like a better YouTuber for y'all. I'm going to try to work. I don't know if I need to work out. One thing about me, on some real shit, I ride bikes every Thursday. Riding bikes for me have been therapy for me. Even when I ride with my crew, or I'm riding by myself. Something about riding a bike, that's my therapy. So I'm going to keep on doing that. You know what I'm saying? I would love any type of advice from y'all. Whatever y'all, I don't care if it's on this video or some old videos. I just need some advice just so y'all could, I could see it and I keep going. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? 
and all the music reactions and videos that y'all want me to do in 2023 i will do them that's this is also a video to make a promise to y'all that i will be better you know what i'm saying like i hate the fact that i'm even out here you know what i'm saying i don't want to cry because i think i cried all my tears out you know what i mean but i um I just want y'all to know that all of us go through the same shit. No matter if somebody famous, uh, somebody homeless, black, white, no matter what it is, we all go through the same shit. And it's also a motivational video to let y'all know if y'all are having suicidal thoughts, just talk to somebody. If you can't find nobody to talk to, like me, grab a camera, talk to, talk to some people, and maybe that give you some feedback, some good feedback. You know what I mean? And um, take it one one day at a time, bro. I, I, I also write, I'm making this video because I don't want this to be my last video. I, I want to keep rocking with y'all. I want to keep, I want to grow old, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people dying young. I've been in Iraq. I've been in Iraq when I was 17. I turned 18 in Iraq. I survived Iraq. I survived the hood in Third Ward, Houston. I survived Iraq. I've been through a lot of shit that could have... I, I worked dangerous ass jobs. It's like, I'm here for... I feel like I'm here for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... I'm not done yet. That's that's my thing. I'm not done yet, man. It ain't over. You dig? But, um... I appreciate y'all hearing, hearing me out, everybody who stayed and watched the whole video to the end. Um, depression is real, man, but you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Gorilla. Shout out to Gorilla. She said something about when the sky's gray, that's why she love the mark. It's going to be sunny the next day, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of cloudy, partly cloudy or whatever, but... That's it, man. That's all I wanted to say, man. Y'all peace out. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Make sure y'all follow me on all my social media. I would love for y'all to follow me and hit me on there. Sometimes I don't be on YouTube. So when I'm on Snapchat or Instagram, one of the things, y'all could send me some positive messages. Um, good vibes only, bro. Anybody hating on what I'm doing or what I'm talking about with negative energy, I do not want to see that. You will be blocked if you come in with negative. This is nothing for positive only. Positive vibes only. Please subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Yiddy!